in this video today, I really want to take quite a deep look at the law of attraction, what it is, who it works for, how you use it, what you can actually um, achieve when you are working with and practicing the law of attraction. And so we're really going to take some time and dissect the whole sort of package, if you like, uh, so that really you can understand a little bit more about what I do and the kind of work that I uh, do with, with my clients. Now, as always, I'm going to ask you that if you find value in the content that I provide, then make sure that you like and subscribe to my channel uh, and also, you know, share the love. Um, you know, if, if there's somebody that you think might find some value from some of the words that I'm saying, then then please do uh, share my videos around uh, and let's really try and um, get this information into the hands as as many people as possible. Now, as always, for anyone who uh, is new and likes and subscribes to my channel, you will find that there are some free gifts available for you. This is content that has been produced by me for you. It's completely free. Um, there's a couple of uh, gifts at the moment. One is a, um, uh, an, an ebook on the power of gratitude, which is something that we're going to be covering a little bit in this video today. So, you know, the two kind of intrinsically go hand in hand. And the second uh, free gift that I have for you at the moment is a recorded meditation. It's a guided meditation that helps you work through um, sort of intentions that you want to set and how to reprogram your mind to put you in the best possible position to bring your intentions into your reality. So actually both of these free gifts are really very, very complementary to the content that we're putting in this video today, which really is kind of a, a beginner's crash course, if you like, into the incredible world of the law of attraction. I hope you find some real value here. So to start with, knowing how to use the law of attraction and even knowing what the law of attraction is can be incredibly beneficial for anybody who's on the road to uh, achieving happiness and success in their lives. But how can you actually manifest your dream life? Because so many uh, gurus and teachers sort of, you know, profess, oh, yes, use the law of attraction and, you know, you can bring all this good stuff into your existence. And they're absolutely correct. But what I really wanted to try and do was to really sort of uncover the nuts and bolts and, and break it down and try and explain it uh, to really make it kind of a, a beginner's friendly guide to this um, minefield of information that is available for anybody on this journey. Now, realistically, ever since Rhonda Bryan wrote The Secret back in 2006, the law of attraction has become one of the most controversial topics around in modern society. And that's not really showing any sign of changing. In fact, I would say that uh, the law of attraction and working with the universe, universe and manifesting your dreams and desires is actually becoming more talked about and more topical with every year that moves on. So, you know, this isn't something that's a, a fad or a whim that's just going to just disappear just as quickly as, as we found it. It is something that more and more people are starting to understand and to want to work with. And by now, there have been several studies that are actually assessing the effectiveness of the law of attraction and the different things that, uh, you know, there are some aspects that are more beneficial and for sure, different things work better for different people. But what I'm saying here is there have now been sort of countless studies and scientific pieces of research to really look into the law of attraction to determine exactly what it is and how successful it can potentially be for the individuals that want to use it. Now, one of these studies that has been used is a study about prayer. And it showed that, you know, human beings really do have the ability to influence matters 
in their own lives and really fulfill their desires, and particularly for some people through prayer. And this is known as a powerful manifestation tool. Now, prayer can be in many, many different ways, and it can be to many different uh, powers, um, whether you pray to a god, whether you pray to a guardian angel, whether you pr pray to the universe, to mother nature, you know, prayer is just uh, a word that explains the process of taking your dreams and your desires and putting it out there to a source greater than us that often that we can't see um, and, and sort of you know, asking for help and guidance uh, to achieve the thing that you are most looking to, to bring into your life. And actually, the results of this particular study has showed that people who, who prayed uh, to whatever deity demonstrated almost twice the success rate of people who didn't use the power of prayer in their manifesting process. So that really is uh, a very solid fact to start with. It's it's literally doubling your success rate. If you put out there, whether you do it, you know, internally in your head or whether you speak your words, whether you write it in a journal, whether you create a gold book, it's about putting your desires out there to the powers that be and saying, this is what I want and this is what I need your help with and this is the difference that it's gonna make to me, to my family, to my community, whatever it is that you're trying to achieve. So what I really wanted to do was put together almost like a crash course or a beginner's guide to the law of attraction. And I hope that by doing so, I'm actually going to be able to answer some of your curiosities around the subject. And most importantly, I suppose, to help you understand how you can apply it to your life to enable you to reach your goals. Now, obviously, as I said, this is very much a beginner's guide, and this is a subject or a topic that I work on very, very closely with, with my students in one-to-one -one coaching. So, you know, if at the end of this video you think, yeah, you know, this really resonates with me, um, but I want to know a bit more, or I want some hand-holding in this process, then reach out, get in touch with me. There's various ways you can put a comment on the page or um, there's a contact form on my website. We can put the details in there and we can have a chat. Um, you know, no, no sort of pressure or anything like that, but we can have a chat about what it is you're trying to achieve and some of the ways that I may well be able to help you uh, achieve your goals that you are working towards at this moment in time. So moving on, I guess the first thing we really want to look at is actually what is the law of attraction? It's something that, um, you know, it's a bit of a phrase that, that drops into conversation in a multitude of different uh, topics and, and in different contexts. But how many of us actually really understand what it is and how it works? Well, the reality is it's really simple. The law of attraction is just a, a, a basic, unchanging, universal principle. That's it. It is a belief that when we understand how we use it and incorporate it in our lives and, and sort of apply it through specific practices, that we are able to attract into our lives the things that we are intentionally focusing on okay and the reality is that the law of attraction exists whether you acknowledge it or not so you know you could you could go through your entire life or, or a good chunk of your life thinking oh, it's, a, it's a complete load of baloney and it doesn't work and this that and the other and if that is the case if you think it doesn't work then you're right because it's what you're focusing your energy on. But if you shift your belief to actually, you know, there could be something in this. And if I focus on the good things and the things that I want, what have I got to lose? Because wherever you put your energy and your mindset is what you're bringing into your life. So, you know, so many of us at the moment are perhaps thinking, 
oh my goodness me, I've got uh, so much debt and it's raising and I'm never going to get things paid off. And, and you know, every day the postman brings you a, a fresh invoice or a fresh bill or another reminder. And the thing is, it just seems like it keeps on coming. And the chances are that it's an incredibly difficult situation, I grant you, but that's what you're focusing on. You're dreading the postman arriving with another bill or uh, your 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 phone ringing with somebody else chasing you for payment. And that's what you're focusing on. So you're getting more and more and more of it. But if you can start to work to shift your mindset and focus it on to positive things that you want to bring into your life, then over time you will start to see that positive energy being returned to you. So simply put, your positive thoughts bring positive experiences into your life but at the same time your negative thoughts will bring negative thoughts into your life and that really is breaking it down as simply as we possibly can so for those of you that are still perhaps a little bit doubtful or a little bit sort of needing a bit more convinced convincing on this then what i really want to do is sort of you know <laughs> try and dispel a few more um, beliefs and, um, you know, questions that people often have about it. So, you know, there are people out there that think, as I said, it's a load of baloney or it's all a bit too woo woo or, you know, it's only for people who sort of practice certain things like, you know, Mary Poppins. It's kind of a, a magical kind of thing where, you know, the carpet bag where she's constantly pulling out everything that she needs for whatever situation she's in. But when you are aware of the law of attraction and you start to understand how to use it in your life, you will pretty quickly discover that it attracts the things that you desire into your life. And so for those people that are harnessing the power of the universe and the law of attraction, then they will give you a very resounding yes, it is real, it does work. Uh, and, and there are so, so many results and, and examples of, of people that are using the law of attraction in very positive ways at this very moment in time. Now, there are some really sort of simple, um, basic examples of the law of attraction and how it works really in our everyday life. Um, and there's lots and lots of things that we can look at here. So I'm going to try and give you just a few examples. So some basic examples and things that, um, you know, are occurring constantly around us is that, I don't know, you're looking for um, a new car or a new bike. Uh, and suddenly you start seeing that particular make and model of car everywhere you look. You know, you focused your mind that you want uh, a particular car. And suddenly every showroom has got them. You're seeing adverts on the TV or in the magazines or, you know, there's something on somebody on the radio talking about that make of car. It's there. It's in your presence constantly. Or it could be, um, you know, one of my favorites is is when I'm running late and I want to go pick the kids up from school and I'm thinking, oh, I'm late, I'm late, I'm late. And suddenly every single traffic light that I approach turns red or, you know, the road is uh, being repaired and there's delays and what have you. And, and it's, it's, it is because I'm thinking I'm going to be late, I'm going to be late, I'm going to be late. And so all these things then sort of appear in my existence or in my reality to make sure that I am indeed late. Uh, it could be that you are, I don't know, craving a particular sandwich I'm going crazy things here, a particular sandwich that you're really fancying for your lunch uh, and one of your work colleagues just happens to be eating it or better still, they go out and buy one and bring one for you or, you know, it can be really, really simple things and things that you generally don't um, acknowledge, recognise, don't even really think about. But that is the law of attraction working and it's working for you constantly and as I said to you at the start of this whether you believe it or whether you don't you're right because if you think it doesn't work and it's a load of nonsense guess what 
it doesn't work and it's a load of nonsense. So the message you're going to get repeatedly from me right now is actually, what have you got to lose? Just give it a try. And when you start to see things coming into your existence and you start noticing them, then, you know, yes, we can start with the small things and some of the things that are, you know, seemingly insignificant. But when you do that and you see those results, it gives you more confidence to start to think about some of the bigger things that perhaps you're looking for and wanting to bring in your life. And when you start to explore that that feeling, that good feeling and that confidence of the law of attraction working for you, then actually things can, can um, you know, really start to build up and move at a much quicker pace for you. So there is no sort of time limits on these things. Um, but as I said, I generally, for somebody who's quite new, I would suggest that you start working on some smaller things just to build your confidence up and sort of test the waters a little bit to start with. So in terms of... Um, understanding how the law of attraction works then what i would suggest to you initially is that you need to try and understand a little bit of the theory behind it which is what we're trying to do in this video and you should always take a look at yourself and your own relationship with the universe Okay. examine how you feel about the universe and how you think it interacts with you because the universe is constantly communicating with us but how you feel about that um, will shape the way that the law of attraction works for you so you know are you somebody that believes that things happen to you for a reason you know oh, this always happens to me or do you believe that you can influence your surroundings so that the right things happen for you at the right times? There's a, there's a key difference there. You know, oh, I'm always attracting the bad stuff. You know, I knew I wasn't going to um, get the job or I'd never win anything or what have you. Versus somebody that says, you know, yeah, I can I can make a difference and I can, you know, put some positive thought into this and I can, you know, lift my thoughts and shift my vibration and then I'll start to see the good things coming in. There's a real difference there. In psychology, the perspective is called an external and an internal focus of control. OK, so you are controlling your focus and what you are focusing on is what you experience in your physical human existence. Now, in addition to this, we live in a world with intrinsic, unchanging universal laws. And the law of attraction is one of them. Okay, The law of attraction affirms things that are within our universe. And they can be thoughts, feelings, people, objects, money, uh, and they tend to migrate towards other things that are the same. So if you are wanting to uh, have a particular experience in your life, then um, you may well find that there are other experiences that are similar that lead up to it or lead on from it. Or you might meet other people that can share that experience with you. So it's not necessarily just one isolated occurrence. But it can be a pattern of things that build up a bigger picture or more of a tapestry around that thing that you are looking to to bring into your reality. And, you know, the simple universal practice, as I keep saying throughout this, is like attracts like. And I've told you so many times where your mind goes, energy flows. So the things that you think about are the things that you attract to you, the things that you draw into your existence. And they are the things that will harness the life that you live. Now, another way that we can look at this is to think about the, the law of gravity. OK, so if you throw a penny from the roof and it falls to the ground, if you jump off your coat, your, your sofa or your couch or you fall off your horse or your bike, you fall on the ground. Never goes the other way around. Believing it's true or untrue doesn't change anything 
The law of gravity is a universal principle. So you can't say I'm going to fall off the roof and I'm suddenly going to fly up and land in a higher tree. It doesn't happen. It's a universal law, just as the law of attraction is a universal law. And we don't question gravity, but people do still question the law of attraction. Although, as I said at the start of this video, that is starting to shift and people are starting to wake up to the reality of this particular universal law and the things that it can bring into your existence. Thank you.